choosing freely is not the opposite of fear. It is instead a shift in consciousness. In other words, it's a difference. It's a different way of existing. It's a different filter through which you allow yourself to exist and explore. It is not related to fear. It is not attached to it. It is not connected to it. It's not defined by it. And if you attempt to use fear to do so, to define free choice, choosing freely, then you won't have choosing freely. You'll have love. Or at least your concepts of love. You'll have what virtually every other individual in your societies and humanity that is trying to shift the human consciousness, that's what you'll have. Their ideas, their concepts, their constructs. Hmm. Interesting, wouldn't you say? Yes. So now, choosing freely is a whole new concept that will change what you do as a, as a race. We can assure you of this, that if you ch decide to move in that direction, if humanity as a whole decides to choose freely, that the evolutionary process that you were anticipating to this point can get thrown out the window. If you were to apply choosing freely to your past and to allow humanity to have filtered itself through choosing freely as opposed to fear, you would have encompassed so much more, been so different, explored so brought more broadly, so more deeply. There would be an awareness and an enlightenment within yourselves that would go far, far beyond that which you are presently have as a race. It would accelerate things. And those of you who are part of the teacher program know what we're talking about, because to a degree you've had to explore choosing freely as part of this teacher program, haven't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know how quickly you've moved through things. Now, let yourselves choose freely. Let yourselves filter your existence through choosing freely as a consciousness methodology or as a conscious existence. And then, dear friends, if you think you've accelerated now, you think you've done things quickly now, watch what you're going to do. And the time for justification will be virtually non-existence. Humanity spends so much energy and effort in the process of justification. Why does it do this? Because it chooses freely? Or because it's afraid. Because it's afraid. If it wasn't for the filter of fear, you would spend so little energy on justification, there wouldn't be any. Imagine what humanity could accomplish. Just imagine if there was no justification. Hmm? Some would argue with us, well then, people could go and kill each other without having to worry about it, no consequences. We didn't say there would be no consequences, we said there would be no justification. When choosing freely means that one choice leads to another choice, which leads to another choice. It's as simple as that. Your fear is what stops you from exploring it. Your fear of anarchy, your fear of change, your fear of growth, your fear of differences. That stops you. So do you see, dear friends, humanity must, by its nature, realize that though it perceives itself having grown, having expanded, having altered, it has not shifted the consciousness of itself. Oh, yes, you've grown. You've evolved into the beings that you now see yourselves to be, homo sapiens. 
you've evolved into mm, a an age of industry an age of technology where mm, the gizmos and the gadgets are all present for you you've evolved into the opportunity to explore beyond the boundaries of your planet well, you've evolved that way but really dear friends you haven't shifted the consciousness. There's been changes. There's been religious changes, societal changes, specific individual changes. Some would call it spiritual changes. No, not really spiritual. More religious. Spirituality existed long before religion was ever created, we assure you. Religion was created in order to control and limit spirituality. Actually, religion was created out of the filter of fear. If it wasn't for the consciousness of fear that you exist in, religion would not be part of your consciousness. Part of your awareness, part of your existence. There wouldn't be religion. There wouldn't be a necessity for it. For religion is nothing more than an attempt to control your spiritualities. To define it. To justify it. So there's a, mm, an incentive for anybody who is non-religious. And of course there is an incentive to stay in fear for anybody who is. What will you do? In this workshop, we're going to give you a great deal of food for thought. We're going to present you with understandings, awarenesses, perspectives, opportunities. Will you shift your consciousness? Use it to shift consciousness? And as a result, shift humanity's consciousness? Or will you continue to hold on to your consciousness of fear so that the information we provide you will be used as justification for your consciousness of fear and your choice of fear. That is the movement that is taking place for humanity. We began speaking to you about this particular movement specifically in October of 2005 when we began with changing the methodology of dying. Why did we choose October? Why did we choose that particular mm, workshop? Why not? Mm, the opportunity presented itself and we chose it. Oh, there's that free choice again. Mm, oh, yes. Now, we've continued to expand on those subjects in an attempt to bring about a shift in consciousness sufficient to anchor within humanity a new awareness. We've created a workshop in, for 2007 that we've sent to you will lead you into this exploration. It will provide the opportunity, but that's all it will do. Yes, it's a 37-session workshop. Yes, it's a stronger um, perspective, if you want to call it that. It'll be very focused, very intense. But still, you must choose it. Still, humanity must be willing to acknowledge it. To acknowledge itself, its own consciousness. To acknowledge that it chooses... A consciousness of fear. It has always chosen a consciousness of fear. Even when provided opportunities to be different, it has still chosen a consciousness of fear. If you want, as a race, to grow beyond the consciousness that you presently exist in, if you want to expand and deepen and broaden yourself, you cannot remain in this consciousness of fear. Otherwise, You'll still explore existence. You'll still go through a great deal. But we assure you, dear friends, you will do so in very limited way because you will filter everything through your filter of fear. 
So here's the opportunity. We're creating it again. We're encouraging you. We're moving humanity to the degree that we can to provide you with the opportunity to perceive yourselves differently. To realize that within each and every one of you and a race as a whole, you have the ability to exist differently. Will you choose it? That, dear friends, is the question to ask yourselves. Are you here to find out whether humanity will finally end, die? What will happen to it? Did you come to this workshop with the ideas that, in effect, let's see how much fear you could fuel? Or did you come here with the perspective, the understanding, the awareness that there might just be a seed given that would let you truly change the way you exist? And humanity then could also be different. We would suggest to you, dear friends, that the majority of you came with the idea of finding out whether humanity would end and when. Anyone listening to this particular recording, we assure you, there's a good probability, high degree of probability, you're listening to it for that reason. And having said that, we've now changed the probability. Interesting how probabilities change so quickly, isn't it? Just like free choice, isn't it? So, prepare yourselves. Hmm. Prepare yourselves to explore and examine. And most of all, prepare yourselves to ask, is this the way you choose to exist? And with that question, the exploration will begin. We do thank you. And to you all, the appreciation of all. The appreciation of all wonders. Wonders, may we move to end this session? Please. Please perform all healings that are chosen. Done. Please relax the body to its natural state now. And to you all, the appreciation of all. The appreciation of all wonders. I would like Renee to awake feeling completely loved now. Came out of that session, um, I had a vision, if you want to call it that, a real awareness that if we were to look back at all of humanity from the time the, the you know the, the Neanderthal man, the pre Neanderthal, and, and and the Chromium man, and all of those, every time our scientists ever explored our history and our evolutionary processes, there's always been a filter of fear. In other words, they, they, they've always looked at it as, as a way we've seen war, we've seen clubs for for survival. It's always been about fear. And I came out of that session realizing that if I could only change the way I saw myself, that I could look at myself differently and not think of myself as being afraid, as, as having to filter everything through fear, but actually as, as being somebody who could choose anything, anything I wanted, anytime I wanted then I would really, I could choose fear if I wanted to, but I would know that I had the power to also choose something else. And when I understood that, then I would give myself a freedom that would really let me explore differently than what I'm doing now. And that's it. That's what I got.